<laughs> Welcome to Torah for Women Ministries Mountain Moments. And this is the Prepper Portions with Judith Garten. Today we're going to introduce you to something interesting. If you remember, we talked about our green bean haul. I'm still working on cutting these. There's a lot of green beans here. A total of almost five pounds. So we've got a lot of work to do. I'll be cutting those up. And when I get those cut, if you'll notice in the background, there's, oops, I keep trying to learn how to point better. See that? <laughs> That's my pasta pot. I have right here the pasta basket. I'm going to cut the beans into serving size. You know, your standard roughly one inch, give or take portion. Let me show you really quick. They make a nice size for the freezer. And if they get frozen in a block, they're easy to break apart. So <laughs> you'll see little, little, like roughly one inch. I'll toss those right into my basket as I cut those up. Then when I'm done, I will also have a bowl full of ends and pieces here. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with those ends and pieces. I cut off all the little pointy ends because you don't want those necessarily in your, in your meals. Um, especially if they're kind of stringy. So I have my handy dandy bowl, just like I used for my apple slices earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this bowl. You may not be able to see it yet. Let's see if I can get a close up of my ends and pieces. Now those little tiny ends and pieces are going to end up, if I was just starting a bag in the freezer, they would end up in the bag in the freezer. But today, I'm going to utilize everything and I'm not going to waste a thing. We are going to make garbage soup. Ever hear of garbage soup? <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I will blanch my beans and then while the beans are cooling, in an ice cold bucket of water or bowl of water in the sink in a little bit. What will take place next? I am going to take my garbage soup bag and I will dump it into this basket, into the broth that is going to be left over in my pot from the green beans. I did something similar a couple weeks ago. I had gotten a, a nice haul on broccoli um, and I blanched the broccoli and then I took the broccoli broth and I made a really delicious lentil soup. It made it really rich and you didn't even notice that the broccoli broth was used. I don't like to waste if I don't have to. If it were summertime and we didn't want to utilize that broth for anything, I would actually take it out and uh, water plants with it once it was cool, not hot. <laughs> hot, it can kill things. But our garbage soup bag I keep this in the freezer and anytime I cut vegetables, um, I stick it in this bag in the freezer and when it becomes full, like this one, then we're all set, ready to go to make a nice, delicious broth. Now this bag in particular, I actually have, I don't know if you can see it, probably can't really tell through the bag, <laughs> there are some chicken thigh bones in here. Um, I had skinned the chicken thighs and then cut the meat off the bones through the bones in here. So this is not going to become a vegetable broth necessarily. It's going to be a combination like a bone broth, vegetable broth, but the balance of it is the majority of it rather is, is vegetables. And we have an interesting array in here. We have carrots. Um, there are, I'm trying to look through. There are orange and green peppers, a little bit of red peppers. Might have a little bite to it. There's some jalapeno scraps, some onion, lots of garlic. We're garlic fans. There is eggplant. Um, I see the end of a spaghetti squash in here. Oh, there's another piece of eggplant. And as I said, chicken. There is broccoli ends that were too hard to end up in our freezer. So they're going to end up nourishing us through our vegetable broth or our bone broth that will be made from our garbage soup bag. So my green bean ends that I have here, these little fellas, are going to end up in this broth. And what I'm going to do is I will take the broth and I will boil it, simmer it rather, for several hours with lots of herbs and flavorings. 
and as that simmers, it will just absorb all the wonderful, delicious nutrients and flavors from all of these great scraps. Why waste? Now, when it's done, I can pull this basket up out of the pot, let it drain into the pot. Then I can take this basket out and minus the bones, of course, because I won't attract rodents and things, sprinkle the guts or whatever's left into the garden. Or you can make a compost tea from it as well. Now, because it's winter time, unfortunately, I'm not dumping anything out there that's going to attract raccoons or bears. <laughs> so it will be going into the trash um, for us for this time. But starting in March, I am going to start using it and making compost tea and pouring that into the garden and it will help nourish the garden. So that is what we're going to do. And then the broth, I will put in the refrigerator when it's cool and it will sit overnight and it will chill and then tomorrow I can package it up in containers and put it in the freezer. Once those containers are frozen, I will actually thaw them slightly on the outside, not enough to thaw it, thaw it, but just to get them out of the containers and I store them in Ziploc bags. Then I have broth anytime I need it. And a really funny thing is, if we ever lose electricity, those blocks of, of frozen broth They've actually kept our food frozen for a couple of days between them and a turkey and a pot of ice that we dug out from, from off of the deck in the yard. <laughs> That's a story for another day. So as I go through this process, I'm probably going to do a voiceover with stills from here on out. But I'm glad you joined us in the kitchen today and I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video as we put it together and show you the different things that we do. Thank you for joining us for Prepper Portions. Shalom.